Hi, good morning, good afternoon. This is Osun Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today I want to talk about project management. Uh, I talk to lots of nonprofit and they use like Microsoft Word or Excel, the Google Sheet, the spreadsheet to uh, uh, manage their project. And then I've seen they are kind of struggling to manage tasks and the project. So in this video, I want to quickly talk about how I manage projects for my company. There are a number of the free tools available like ClickUp and we use Asana. So I'm going to talk about how I use Asana to manage projects. So when we start a project, so we identify tasks. So here's an example here. Uh, let's say my project is hosting a webinar. You know, sometimes we host events, webinar. And there are my tasks. You know, we have to pick a date and time. We have to create a Zoom link, create our landing page, and the sub tasks for that is uh, writing a content and designing the landing page. And then we have to build the registration form and we have to test the form. And then we have to post on the social media to promote the event and to send out the invitations and contact partners and associations so that they can promote our webinar event. And send a reminder and send another reminder. So the next one is we have to identify deadlines. So every task has deadlines, right? So for example, pick a date and time. We have to do that on March 5th and create a Zoom link on the same day and so forth. So we have to identify deadline so otherwise we're gonna keep delaying the project so we don't want to do that if we are dealing with just tasks and date and you can use something like to-do list on the app uh, this is the, called the things I have been using uh, this app too it's pretty handy so you can create a to-do list and you can set the deadline too but mostly that's not really enough we have to identify who is responsible for and uh, for example so we have three people here and uh, so i'm going to be doing a uh, deciding on date and time and then somebody's going to doing a create a zoom link uh, she's creating a landing page and then uh, most of things and i have to approve uh, for the landing page this is a small tiny project but for you guys too if you're working with a team so you have to identify uh, you have to allocate so three things so tasks and deadlines and who is responsible for when we have to deal with those three things project and management tool is going to be handy we've been using asana and it's free like they have paid version too but like we've been using free version and that's really good enough uh, because we have a small team and i think for most of nonprofit or a small business free version is going to be good enough so let me show that to you is asana you see a lot of projects so you can create unlimited project for free and unlimited tasks for free version uh, you are limited to only working with 15 teammates which is plenty for my organ my, my company too here is hosting webinar project here i think lots of people use lists view and i like using board view and timeline now, for if you want to use timeline, you have to pay premium. It's going to be nice, but uh, I never need it. And there's calendar and dashboard, and you have to have a premium version for that. But the calendar view, uh, you can, yeah, you can just see that. But I never use that though. So I'm going to be using board view. This is how I organize my project, and this works for me. So what I will do is I'm going to just list out bunch of uh, tasks here and I call it to-do list right and I have four different columns like most of every project whether this is the website project or this is like coaching project I I have four columns this is my template and to do in reviews and approved and done and if you want to have another column so you can just add a new section here you can add that and for example pick a date by March 27th and then uh, so this one is if I pick date and we our team is gonna review it if it's okay and I just move to the next step and approved good so you know in this case I can just uh, 
uh, move back to done, right? So it's kind of makes sense. It's kind of simple way to organize tasks. And for example, this one landing page here. Now, if you click that, you get here. So that's the title of tasks, and you can add a sub task here too. For example, creating um, content and also uh, design and a layout and then uh, build uh, registration form and then test uh, registration form okay something like that and you can um, so let's say create a contents and I can I think uh, you allocate right so I'm gonna pick him and design layout uh, it's gonna be her and then with the registration form it's gonna be here and test right so you can identify who's gonna be responsible for those small tasks too and the due date uh, it's May 4th but if you want to kind of uh, you know get it done early so you can change that too there's a calendar view you can pick it's pretty handy and under subtasks too so you, you can pick a due date so which is pretty handy right due date matters right so so these are subtasks but if you want to I never use you can use another like add subtasks or subtasks or sub subtasks and I never use that but uh, if you want to you can do that too and if they are done they can just check 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 they can just that's kind of a unicorn so always popping up <laughs> which is funny and also uh, they can make uh, have a conversation they don't have to use uh, emails and back and forth so that's another problem like when we deal with uh, managing project flooded with uh, with the email content so which lots of people hate that and this here you can kind of have a conversation uh, can you you know for example replace <clears throat> this image with something right and you can you can send attachment using uh, uh, Dropbox or Google Drive so we use Dropbox you can have a conversation right on this dashboard and so you don't have to use email usually when you hit complete this task is just a disappeared so we don't want to do that so even though this is completed and then uh, so Sean's gonna um, well in this case so it's gonna be just uh, put that in approved and then when I go in just check this and everything's done and then I can just make it to uh, oh sorry move to done okay so even like uh, small tasks here post event to LinkedIn and Facebook uh, they can just go ahead and they can themselves they have access to my Asana and move to done right so same here like everything's down when it's you know pat, um, with before the due date is okay so it's pretty handy this is how we manage our project and then some people probably use the list view it's kind of same thing uh, they can check now here we go so if you um, okay post in the Facebook if you click check I think it's gonna just disappeared and then uh, here I can just go back here so yeah the way we do is we can just move that to you know in review approved or well done just go down here All right so the reason why we do that is uh, we meet uh, every week uh, mostly uh, Monday morning and we can review this but some people probably prefer to use a uh, list view but I like using the board view and move from left to right so that was a sign up again it's free and uh, it's really handy you can just put the tasks and then uh, identify who's going to be responsible and then put the due date those three things we will have a weekly meeting uh, now we use zoom you can use google hangouts like join me and we go through this you know what have you done last week and why didn't you do last week if somebody forgot it, we and then what are you doing this week and we can talk about if it's bigger project keep adding the tasks and how, how can we adjust our project schedule if schedule is too tight so let's uh, take a quick look about pricing I've been using basic uh, free version in the last two years 
and unlimited tasks, unlimited project, unlimited message, unlimited activity, activity log, and unlimited file storage, uh, 100 megabytes per file. So that's pretty generous. Uh, we use, we use um, a premium version of Dropbox. We got the huge storage, and then I don't have to use their storage space and collaborate with up to 15 teammates. We don't have that big team. And most of non-profit, you can probably stay uh, within this the free version. And if you wanna move up to next tier, uh, still like it's only like $11 US, which is I think pretty uh, reasonable. And then the another tier is $25 US, and they have other things too. I never actually explore those features. That's about how I manage work project and I hope this helps you know doing a project is about undertaking tasks by certain due date allocating who's going to be doing which tasks and managing that definitely uh, Microsoft Word or Excel or the spreadsheet is not really efficient and these kind of cloud-based free tools um, it's going to be, I mean, you might have some learning curve, um, but um, it's going to, once you get used to it, uh, it's going to be super efficient. So for small businesses and nonprofit organization, uh, I will highly recommend uh, this kind of tool. So I hope this helped and you've learned something new and I'll see you next time.